Hello and welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Today we are going to practice the lofted boss base and lofted cut commands. Let's start. Go to file, new, part, ok. Let's change the background to plain white. And I am going to start with front plane. We need the different planes in the in these different planes we have to create the drawings this try draw center rectangle here and simply click ok exit the sketch go to front plane go to feature and insert a plane let's say 50mm click ok now in this plane create a sketch select normal you can draw any shapes circle or ellipse i am going to try ellipse exit you can hide this plane In the same way, let's insert another plane here. This time 100 mm from the initial front plane. Click OK. Now go to this plane and sketch another geometry. This time let's try rectangle. Click OK. exit you can hide this plane now there are three drawings in the three different planes we are going to create the loft between these rectangles through this ellipse select the loft boss base and let's select the vertex in this way you can create the loft between the drawings in the different planes simply click ok go to loft and edit the feature here is the start in the in constraint you can use suppose let's try normal to profile this means this type of shape will create in the first plane you can also try in the in constraint or you can apply the degree also let's try in the other in also click ok in this way you can change the different options now go to the this plane sketch normal now we are going to try the lofted cut so let's create a sketch let's draw center rectangle here and in this phase sketch normal let's draw circle ok exit the sketch go to feature and try the loft cut the one sketch is already selected select the other sketch simply click ok this is the loft cut lofted cut in the SOLIDWORKS now close this drawing create a new part file now we, we are going to try the guided curve and central line options go to front plane normal now let's create a path first I'm going to create a simple path 
let's apply a fillet okay now go to feature and select a plane now we are going to create a plane perpendicular to this line and click ok now in this plane sketch normal let's draw a center line let's draw a center rectangle exit the sketch and hide the plane in the same way let's create a plane and in this plane create another center rectangle simply exit exit from the sketch and hide this plane now we are going to create the loft between these two drawings through this center path go to the loft boss base and select the two points now here is a option center line parameter in this section select this center line simply click ok in this way you can use the center line option in the lofted boss base control z and go back we are going to try the guided curves to create a guide curve go to front plane sketch select the spline tool and create a spline again select the spline and create a line profile guided curve these two are the guided curve this is center line and these are the two profiles now we are going to create the loft between these profiles with the help of guided curve and center line go to feature exit the sketch take the loft to both space command select the two edges to vertex in the guided curve select this one click ok and select also this one and click ok at the same time you can select the center line parameter and this one is a center line parameter and click ok you can use the thin feature in this lofted boss base same as in the exclude boss and revolve boss this one is the lofted boss base command in the solid box this is a very useful tool to create the irregular geometries thank you for your time now we are going to stop here and we will try the different commands in the next videos thank you for your time